Now I've checked with the airport and it looks like any of those flights headed from Dayton to the East Coast are being affected this morning. If you had a scheduled flight heading to Baltimore, Washington, D.C., New Jersey, New York, uh, Philadelphia, those look to be canceled this morning. And that was the same situation last night with many flight cancellations and delays. Uh, we came out here and spoke to some of the travelers. It looks like more than 6,800 flights scheduled for yesterday and today have been canceled all across the country. Brian Carr, he's from Cincinnati. He says he travels a lot for work. His most recent trip took him to Orlando, Florida, with a connecting flight in Charlotte. Now, he dodged any weather-related delays last night, but he's a little more skeptical about what today might bring because he's supposed to fly out of Pittsburgh this morning. It was actually when you're flying in, you can see the weather out there, and uh, it's coming in, so uh, we're, we're getting ready to get hit. Pittsburgh weather tomorrow must be really bad. It's really decreasing right now, so uh, we may call off Pittsburgh tomorrow. If you do have a scheduled flight, you can check with your airline by heading to the website uh, on your smartphone. We posted a link to this story on our 2 news uh, WDTN.com, our website. So now would be a good time to download that 2 news app. Also, Carrie's going to have another update for you on those flight cancellations and delays in your next time saver traffic update. Now we're going to check in with Dan Edwards. He has continuing team coverage of how local Red Cross volunteers are helping out. Well, now Red Cross volunteers locally are setting up in New Jersey where Hurricane Sand is expected to strike. Seven volunteers and two emergency response vehicles left Dayton Saturday. Once in place, they'll be providing shelter as well as food and clothing for victims. If you have loved ones who live in or near Sandy's projected path, Red Cross officials say they have a new smartphone app that could help you track their whereabouts in the event of an emergency. One of the neat things about the Hurricane app is that if you here are local and you have family that are in the path of the storm, tell them to download the Hurricane app now. There's a feature on there, it's a one-touch feature, where they can immediately touch that they're safe. It will immediately update their Facebook and their Twitter account. And we wish them safety. And we also checked with the Ohio Task Force One, our highly trained local urban search and rescue team. And they tell me they are ready to roll when needed. We've also talked with a spokesperson for the Ohio National Guard who says they have not yet received any orders for deployment at this time. And you can track the latest movements of Hurricane Sandy by going to our website anytime, WDTN.com. Reporting live, Dan Edwards, 2 News Today.